there's somebody here. In this video, I will show you how to control the real lamp and what needs attention prior to control. Please follow the assembly tutorials on our channel and use a menu on our website under Learn Get Tutorials. You need to complete the program installation before any operation. So how to assemble the pop buttons on the handle? If you have the version 1 which has no measurements, you can take the steps. Before placing the buttons, first, spin the potentiometers clockwise to its end, which is the zero degree of them. Insert the button with the mark like 30 degrees to the vertical line, like this. And if you plug too many degrees, unplug it and insert again. So we can see the mark here should be like 30 degrees to the vertical line. Then spin the pot to the middle position, like this. And the last one first to the left mode position to the end, and then back a little like 20 degrees or so at this position. Then power the roll arm and the axis will be at about the middle position in an organized way. And here, the degrees for a servo is about 0 to 180 degrees, and that for the potential order is like 0 to 270 degrees. So there will be a mapping relationship between the two. When powering the roll arm, Make sure that the Polish order is not at the zero degree in case of harming the servo. After all assembly is done, upload the sketch to the real lab. So, this adjustment is done. Actually, we've improved the handle and released a version 1.1 roll arm kit. A scale is added to each part for easier and more accurate operation. So if you have a new version, you can directly spin the first three parts to 90 degrees and the last part to 170 degrees. So here, put it to zero. The first one to 90 degrees. The last one to 170 degrees. So it's done. Here we can see 170, 90, 90, 90. So it's easily done.